Good afternoon. <laughs> Y'all, because why was I going to act like I was at work? Uh, Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're here, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Uh, we are doing a little get ready with me. I'm going to dinner with my friend. Honestly, I am a little bit sick. Like, I literally feel so ill. But, um, it's not COVID. I, I took a test last night. So I know it's not COVID. Um, I just really been under the weather. Also, look at my, look at my mug. <laughs> my name. Um, I have rum and Pepsi in here. Um, but we were supposed to go out to dinner last week and the weather was really ass. It was super cold and everything. So we postponed it to tomorrow, to Saturday. But he's like, no, <laughs> I can't go tomorrow. So we're going today. So we're going to grab dinner and catch up. Um, but anyway, I thought I would just take this opportunity to do a little get ready with me. I just flat ironed my hair. My flat iron kind of sucked because I wanted this like bone dry. <laughs> bone straight. <laughs> um, And it's not happening. Also, I don't really like this angle of me, but like it is what it is. I feel like I'm low-key like suffocated in a way. Hold on. He just told me 8 o'clock, which is perfect because um, I did not see me being finished. Because I want to chat a lot. <laughs> but my friend actually gave me this idea. Oh my god, no. We already repositioned this because... Okay, I think that's might be better. So my friend gave me this cool idea. She was like, oh my gosh, Mama, you're traveling like all the time. Why don't you just do like... Um, a get ready with me talking about you know like how I plan my trips like the thought process and because I know I like to ramble I actually hold on let me respond hold on. anyway because I know I like to talk a lot <laughs> so, I, so I'm not like off topic I decided to do um a little guide so that way like I stay on it and not like get off topic um I haven't got like, I haven't had my brows done in so long, so they're kind of, like, all over the place. Let me bring you guys a little closer. Like, she don't really give brows like she normally do, but, um, that's that. So, ba so basically, like, um, whenever I'm planning a trip, it's like, I know, like, a year ahead where I anticipate on going. Um, it's very, like rare where i just be like oh my god let me go there like i don't think i've done like a spontaneous trip yeah i've never done like a spontaneous trip where i'm just like oh my god i just want to go here i kind of like pre-plan everything the year before i kind of like put a, put a couple cities put a couple cities as well like a couple places i would, might want to visit and then i go from there bro this refi brow thing has gone through the ringer like it's it's kind of insane <laughs> hold on girl um i'm not doing anything crazy with my makeup just because like we're going to he said it's pretty chill vibes so we're gonna keep it pretty chill vibes it's also because like because i feel sick i feel like i haven't been putting effort to anything i just been like going about my day and that's just that and that's what happened when i'm sick i kind of just like give up on my body in a way so I'm kind of glad he decided to do today too because um, I think I want to use tomorrow as a day to like fully let my body recover. I actually worked from home today um, just because I'm like I didn't have the energy to like go into the office and like do anything. <laughs> Thankfully it was an easier day than most so that was that. So let's get into um planning a trip whether it's like a girl's trip a solo trip um whatever it is but i think i'm speaking mainly for like groups um oh child i cannot talk like this hold on girl i know people don't like carve the top of their brows anymore but i still like to do it i feel like it gives me like <laughs> structure like i don't know do what you want it's your face I feel like uh, throughout the years, so many rules has, like, come out about, like, what you can and cannot do. And I'm like, 
this is your face do what you want with your makeup first thing i put on there is budget budget is your best friend you want to budget like stay flight activities dining personal expenses like i feel like a lot of time when people go on trips and they have like money issues it's because they don't budget like you need to budget you need to budget like your funds before being there and like um and also funds afterwards because i know like sometimes people on trips they just worry about like getting there and money there but not money after because remember when you do trips you're probably taking the time off from your job make sure you have enough pto to cover those days so when you come back there is a check <laughs> um making sure like your bills are paid because like don't go broke trying to go on a trip babes <laughs> <laughs> um you know i i'm a big like money return type of girl i'm like yo like take the trip money returns but also like just remember like all oh, like what is important like i think when i first started doing trips i was very much like oh it's whatever like my money will come back and then like it hurt me a little bit because i think i was too loosely with that idea but now that i'm a little bit wiser definitely budget well um if you're booking with a group I, travel credit cards are your best friend like I love travel credit cards because one the points I literally went to Paris for like six dollars I'm not even joking I can show you the paper <laughs> because of travel credit cards um the points you get the benefits you get sometime like if you book like with a travel credit card and then um you might get like free luggage or free like there's benefits to using like travel credit cards and I love them like cannot recommend them enough like I have the um Delta Amex one and I absolutely love it so but if you are booking stuff together especially like those big expenses like the flight and stay which is the, I think flight and stay is the most things people book together make sure that you are just dividing stuff equally that no one is paying more than the other I know like there's so many different apps out there to like help divide and stuff um because that way we all feel like, everyone in your group feel like, okay, like we're paying the same amount of money and no one is getting like, feel left out or robbed in a way. So making sure that you are very transparent with money because money will divide friendships, okay? Just be very transparent with that and like, um, make sure you pay your friends. <laughs> make sure like everyone is very on top of it and and just pay each other back okay number three that i have in there was compare packages i like to use um travel packages especially on like delta vacations jablu vacations expedia depending because Expedia's a third party and sometimes like it, she can be a little tricky but um i love using like jablu vacations it's essentially the same thing but it's just like it put it together for you certain places like it might be cheaper to do a vacation combo as opposed to just like doing an airbnb if um i know like if you're going to the caribbean just do a hotel babes just do a hotel like unless you're going to places like turks and caicos or like um even turks i would say do a hotel just because i feel like what happened with those places is you need cars okay you need cars to go around and then sometimes it's like you don't really know the area how to drive there and when you're in a hotel you can easily be like hey can i get a car <laughs> so i would suggest that but like i feel like places like europe or like places who are like i guess very city you could definitely just do airbnbs in the flight um i think sometimes packages are cheaper depending on, on your budget so that's a good thing too i am big on booking activities beforehand and also leaving room for some like spontaneous things like i feel like if there's something in the group that everyone really want to do book it in advance book your excursioning plans make reservations because one thing like i used to see a lot um especially when people like when you travel to really big cities i'll take new york for example like i when i used to work in restaurants people like would come without reservations while they're traveling i'm like you don't make reservations i make reservations everywhere like i do not care i'm okay with calling the place if we're running late i'm okay with calling the place if like we need to cancel but i'm making a reservation babe like i think you should make a reservations everywhere like it just avoids like you have a set plan and i know some people like call us itinerary warriors i am a big itinerary girl like um the type a and me would not let me be free so like i will plan out this trip 
now like obviously i'm not crazy to play it down to like hours and minutes but like i do like an overall structural like of the day like i like to know exactly like what we plan to do that day because the thing is like i'm here to explore i'm here to have fun what i don't want to do is like have my time wasted figuring stuff out like i want to know like okay on monday we're doing a chill day on tuesday we're doing beach day on wednesday we're doing a beach club on thursday we're going scuba diving like i don't know like <laughs> plan is like plan 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 um plan downtime like just making sure like and making sure also what you're planning everyone is comfortable doing like you don't want to plan something where like the whole group is like uh or if the if someone's like no i don't want to do that um but i can chill here while you guys do it because not everyone needs to do everything like your friends might not want to do something that you want to do and that's totally okay because it all depends on like level of comfort like how adventurous you are so um another thing is dress codes now this would get a little a little um not like down to the t of a dress code but like what to expect right so let's say um, one of the dinner places is very casual. You could be like casual attire. Or let's say, and it's fancy, fancy attire. Or if it's like you guys want to coordinate clothing, like, oh, let's wear all black, you know? Making sure, like, that's set beforehand so you know. Um, and it's not in a way to be like controlling or like, oh, like, everyone should wear this, everyone should wear that. No. It's more to like, it's whatever that looks like to you. So, like, if casual for you is dress pants, in a blouse maybe that's casual for you if casual for you is jeans and a shirt that's casual for you so like at least you know like how everyone is like dressed you don't have to be dressed in a theme but your dress um what's the word cohesive right i think that's the word like you guys are in yes there's like a cohesive flow like you all i don't know what the freaking word is um but that's what i mean by like dress code for example like whenever i do my itineraries like i always put like um classy attire or casual attire like i kind of give you a hint of what to expect in the space so when like you pop we all dress it's like oh my god i didn't know we were in that i didn't know we were in that i didn't know we were in that and there's no confusion like because i know that could be tricky for friend groups like especially like if there's different mix of groups dress codes okay next up is checklist i am big on again this is very much to my own thing i send out a checklist so like passport wallet um literally like everything you would need like i kind of like i will make that checklist and i will send it out through to like everyone who's going like do you need your passport do you need just your id do you need your obviously you need your wallet but like wallet keys cards um do you need to print out paperwork when COVID was going on? Like, do you need a physical copy of your COVID test? Like, do, do you need a visa to that place you're going to? So these little things are like, you know, what you, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Canva. I am such a big advocate for Canva. Canva should sponsor me, honestly, for the amount of time I speak about Canva. I love Canva. It's a great way to make invites, a great way to make, like, itineraries it's also a great way to like plan outfits activities i'm gonna put an example on the screen of how like i do i use canva throughout like trips and stuff you don't necessarily have to do that but that's how i do it i also use canva to make like a mini daily itinerary for example like you have like your big itinerary that's like typically a powerpoint but i also have like a daily one where i was send out to my friend as like a real reminder like here you go he's Here's day one. Here's like a cliff note of the thing. Again, you don't have to do that. But like, it's helpful. I think it's helpful. <laughs> okay, I went back to saving enough to spend so you're not struggling. Just getting there is just half of the cost. Making sure you have money to spend there. That you're not clenching your pearls. And if you feel like you don't have like, you know, actual like, you know, maybe the trip costs a lot and you don't have like a lot of money to spend there. Have a credit card for a backup. Pay that girl back, but have a credit card for a backup. Um, yeah, um, I think again, one of the main things that like usually break up, you know, by the way, oh my god, go to Miami with your friends, see if you're really friends. It all boils down to like money. It's like, oh, I didn't bring enough, I didn't pack enough, I don't have enough. Can you, you know, and 
if you're okay with the type of person like you're close with your friendships they can cover for you and then they, you give them back that's an option but i'll say just try to have it that way like everyone is like clear okay <laughs> um because it's really hard when you're on a vacation trying to enjoy yourself and then you're oh crap i might put too much and then you're counting pennies <laughs> not literally but you know what i'm trying to say um so definitely like look at your pockets see what you can spend and voice that because if you feel if someone is booking the trip and they putting really expensive stuff on they be like hey girl do you mind doing stuff that are more casual and more and less heavy because at the end of the day like a trip doesn't necessarily need to be expensive you can go on a trip and have fun because there's so many different locations that you can go to where like it's really inexpensive like where you feel like your money can go far especially if the u.s dollar is more if that makes sense plan your maintenance days so you're not overwhelmed with expenses i feel like sometimes your maintenance be costing as much or even more as the trip and especially us girls because we're getting our brows done our nails done our lashes done our hair done our toes done like it's a lot of thing being done and it's for a five-day trip it's for a four-day trip so what i mean by like making sure you plan it out let's say you're you were supposed to get your hair done on a month before maybe hold out that way you have that money already there you know oh my god okay my hair will be done or plan it in a way where like you're not overwhelmed with like so many expenses like where you feel like oh my god it's costing me nine thousand dollars <laughs> seven hundred dollars to like do all of these things and if you're planning for getting braids if you're getting weave because you have to buy the weave you have the weave sewn on like it's so many things oh you have to plan to like book it making sure you're stuck it's so much that goes into a trip which is ridiculous because you're there for like five days six days seven days max like it's not even a long haul trip and like you feel like you're spending so much money um that's why i always say like when you're going somewhere go somewhere you really want to go to that you really want to enjoy it i mean you're flying with intention and that like when you're there you don't regret your money because you're spending a lot of money to go and that brings me to my plan um my other point have fun on your vacay because this is money that you spend for you to have fun you need to have fun don't be like a Debbie Downer don't be like oh, I don't want to do this I don't do that babes you pay money to be here and I think that goes hand in hand with like I'm big on like resting during vacation because you took a mental break so you need to feel that mental break so everything doesn't have to be excursion 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 you can have just a day where you're going to the beach and you're laying by the pool and you're having a drink that could be your day babes that could be your day that could be your day um also let's leave the the arguments at home babes i know we could get a little tussle us girls on trips Let, let's leave the tussle at home <laughs> or like if we do have a little tussle because we all do listen i've had tussles on trips we all do but make sure it doesn't affect like the overall feel of the group where it becomes awkward and like you feel like you're stepping on eggshell like no one can't let loose or have fun because someone has an attitude or because again like we're, we're we're girls okay someone's about to piss us off and don't let us, all of us be on our menstrual like it's gonna be chaotic but don't let that ruin the whole feel of the group for everybody like babes you know like manage manage it figure it out and if you feel like your energy your attitude is gonna mess it up go back home and like i'm not trying to be funny like, i'm being so serious <laughs> because what it is is you're gonna be at dinner like this everyone's having a good time kicking you at dinner like this then why are you here babes like get over it figure it out and then let's have fun on this trip okay but like also if your trip becomes toxic unsafe baby it's okay to go home it's okay to call that flight people and be like can i switch my flight to an earlier flight and get the fuck out of there because you didn't pay your money to be miserable and unhappy on a trip mama okay oh i think i'm liking the way my face is coming out i feel like it looks a little powdery let, let, let's let's do a little setting spray let's do like one little i'm debating if i want to do curls in my hair not curls but like um cramps it looks too fly i think i might add some crimps in there like some big fat crimps i don't know i do have time ahead of me because he said eight o'clock so um that gives me a little time it's so funny i'm gonna wear the same outfit i had plans to wear last week because i didn't get to wear it um i don't know what i want to do on my lip no tables oh my god oh no i wanted a table 
This is what happens when you plan stuff for the boys. They, they, they. <laughs> I would have booked a reservation a long time ago. I guess bar it is. Um, okay. Um, another thing that I had back to our trip planning guide. I'm gonna write those down in the um description bar that way we all on the same page besties could all go on trips this year and have a good time i put plan around your pto babes that go back to making sure you have enough money making sure it's covered all that good stuff example for example i took a trip earlier in january around mlk day i mean i took off only that friday because i knew i was all saturday sunday and monday so i was able to do a last little trip there okay so plan around your PTO, plan around government holidays, three day weekends, maximize that time. Um, making sure like you're getting paid. That way you're not feeling like, oh my god, like I'm worried about how I'm gonna pay for this when I get home. You know, all of that stuff. Because like money's a real fair bitch. That bitch gave me scary. <laughs> um also this has been clutch. It's Sephora like and four kind of blush thing. I was gonna do um another blush but she's cute like i like to drag my blush all the way it's like here and then put a little bit on my nose <laughs> but um so, so that's honestly all the tips i have for you like and top tip is to always have fun go with people you enjoy being around <clears throat> go go with people you know that's gonna have a good time that you're gonna have a good time that you get along with because it's very telling when you go on trips you know what i mean like you because you're gonna be living with, with that person for like three to four days so making sure like you guys get along before going on that trip like i'd be seeing tiktok of girls going on a trip people that they just met or like met online like could to see you but like that's not what i would never do baby People are crazy. <laughs> just make sure they folks you like really comfortable with and not just like, yes, I'm just down to go on the strip with this random ass stranger. Like, I think I've gone over most of my points. Oh, I got to do my liner. I have to focus. I can't like even do my liner. We cute. Um, but I think this is where my advice goes as far as trip planning and um you know and also if you're first starting out like traveling i would say start with u.s territories the caribbean um i think europe as well and then mm, and then going to like the longer flights which is africa um asia because these flights baby are all day <laughs> but um i also think you should travel within your means and make sure if you are going to be going somewhere expensive do we like the lip i think she's cute i don't know if i want to change it again but i just mix those two together she's kind of cute but yeah if you're going somewhere expensive make sure you plan out your budgets like when i say plan out your budget baby down to every single dollar <laughs> that way you're there having fun and enjoying your time and not stressing over boring money like Ew. Travel with people you love and enjoy their company and have fun. Like, the, that's the point of traveling. It's about learning another culture. It's about having fun. Also, be respectful of other people's cultures. I feel like a lot of time people travel and are very disrespectful to other people's cultures and making sure you do your research of the place before you go to the place. Um, you want to know what their rules are. Um, because rules here are not universal. I know how big American heads could be, okay? But our rules in this country are not universal, okay? So you need to follow these people rules when you go to their country. And um, especially if you go somewhere where you don't speak the same language as them. Um, and I know a lot of people make the effort. Make the effort because at least it looks like you're trying and not just like another like ignorant American. <laughs> um and respect 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 is all i'm gonna say about that everything else is your own discretion and i always look up the places i'm going to on the u.s travel thing just to see like their safety levels and what they recommend for americans and like it, it will tell you it'll be like 
proceed with caution. Use normal caution. Um, they'll tell you like alert or don't go. Should, do we think I should like at the cramps, or should I leave my hair like this? I have some time. What y'all think? Should we leave my hair straight? This, is, this will be up by the time I go, so you can't even give me an opinion for real. Should we add the cramps to this? I don't know, friend. But anyway, I hope you have are having a wonderful Friday. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if it was useful or if I was just talking out of my ass. Um, let me know if you like this type of videos. If you like me to do them a little bit more often, I will. Um, I yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're traveling somewhere cold this year, comment below where you're going. If it's a secret, give me a hint and I'll try to guess it. Um, <laughs> and I cannot wait to share all my travel vlogs on here with you guys. I have a few places planned and God willing, I get to go. But yeah, so I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the love. And I'm excited about 2024. Like okay queens um i will see you guys in my next video and hopefully we figure out this dinner thing and the food is good and we get a table i know he said bar but i fingers crossed for a table um anyway bye guys laters just so y'all can sleep at night we kept it straight you're welcome <laughs> y'all could sleep go, go to bed y'all could sleep I didn't at the curls. Y'all can sleep. Y'all can sleep.